All right, welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody watching later on YouTube for our second trial of the day. The first one didn't go so well. We had some fun playing some Poros. <laughs> first time trying a Poro deck didn't go so well, but uh, it was fun. Um, uh, let's go ahead and try trial number two. So uh, we can still get a seven win trial and still get the champion capsule and the 3,000 shards, uh, but we need, you know, we only have one trial left. So here we go. Let's draft a good one. All right, we have Ash, which is, you know, good. Um, definitely a good champion. Good champion to build around, and you get Averosian uh, Outriders, Alpha Wildclaw. That's a pretty good, solid bucket right there. We could go Vladimir, which I've actually I've never drafted a Vladimir deck before, and you get two good cards to go along with Vladimir, um, getting the uh, Crimson cards, Crimson Aristocrat, Crimson Curator. So we got Cl uh, Vladimir Crimson deck, or of course Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger is awesome. The Accelerated Pursuit uh, can just can definitely win games in the late game. So if you summon 15 cards with different names this game, you summon a Catastrophe. Catastrophe is a one mana 30-30 trample. That's awesome. But you have to you have to play 15 different cards with 15 cards with different names though. Which that's not difficult. You know, it's basically just casting 15 cards. Um Vlad is a bait, go Ash here, not even close. Yeah, I think I think Ash is probably the the best one here. And I've had a lot of success with like going like big Freljord decks. Um, Freljord has a lot of power. The thing is, I guess every everything else that we're playing today does have Freljord in it. So I, I I honestly wanted whenever we did this, I honestly wanted to not take Freljord. But this is you know like if we need if we need to get seven wins, we probably shouldn't play like the experimental thing. Um, we should probably play the best thing, and that's this Ash. Um, So, y'all are saying, okay, a couple people saying Heimer. You can vote. Let's see, what are the votes saying? Ooh, more, I guess, votes are pretty even, but a couple more people will vote for Heimerdinger. Um, yeah, I mean, we could we could try a Heimerdinger deck, and Heimerdinger does just take over if they don't have removal for it. So we could go that route also. It's probably between those two. But the Vladimir one is just really interesting. But it's not going to be as powerful as these. I don't like love these two cards with Heimerdinger. If we take the Outriders, because it has Allegiance, we're going to want to take a whole lot of Freljord stuff. But yeah, these, these cards are better. I'll take the Ash. Played a lot of Heimerdinger and Constructed. I don't have any Ashes in my accounts. So I don't. I don't play Ash except for on these expeditions right now. All right, so we can. Man, I would have loved to take Ezreal with Heimerdinger if we would have been able to. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't really like any of these buckets for Ash. I guess this Demacia one is the one that I'm just kind of leaning towards right off the bat. You know, one drop, a two-mana champion, a three-mana card that's pretty decent because for all your, we can get some big expensive stuff with, with these. So, like, getting a, a one, a two, and a three is kind of nice. If we want to play like a, a control deck and kind of play towards the late game though, Karma is super powerful. And you know, we can try to pick up like avalanches and stuff like that and just play to towards the late game. And Karma is really powerful. The problem is, you know, Kinku Wayfinder wants Allegiance. Like this, this card's not so great. Neither is Green. The problem is the two cards with Karma I don't really like. Green Glade Elder and Kinku Wayfinder. Elder is actually pretty decent. Um, but the Wayfinder, I don't really like this card uh, in in like the deck that we would be building because we wouldn't really be building a, a one drop deck. Um, it's 
see what the votes say. But yeah, the votes are basically split between these two. So it's basically, do we go with consistency? And like, this is the consistent one, one, two, three. Or we go for the real high upside with these, but but could be really bad also. Probably need the consistency. All right, let's go, yeah, let's go Lucian. All right, so we get Icefield Archer, which is awesome, and Catalyst of Aeons, which is not awesome. Single Combat, awesome. Vanguard Redeemer, pretty awesome too. And we're not getting those. So I think we'll take the Single Combat and Redeemer. I like Ar I like the Archer a lot, but I really don't like Catalyst of Aeons, so we're gonna take this middle column. I like Elixir of Iron, but I don't really like Unscarred Reaver. Sergeant's pretty good. Mage Seeker Insider. What is this? Play, discard a spell to grant me power equal to its cost. That's not very good. They Who Endure and Yeti Yearling. I actually want this last one. I think Yeti Yearling is a is a sneaky good card. And They Who Endure is pretty sweet also. I'll take this last one. Yeah, that's where the votes were also. All right, we get another single combat, and we can take a Senna to pair with Lucian. That's always a good pair. Wild Claw's good. Calisthenion, not so much. Ancient Yeti, pretty good. Tall Tales can be fine also, but yeah, we're going to take the Senna, go with the Lucian, and another single combat. We do kind of need some spells, as you can see. Um, nope. Sing another single combat and a barrier or an elixir of iron and a tavern keeper. I like barrier a whole lot. And yeah, we're just going to take these two spells. We're going to have a bunch of single combats. So another, tr another tracker and single combat. An archer and stalking wolf. Or single combat and scar maiden reaver. Scar maiden reaver seems awesome with single combat. Being a... Four or five that regenerates. We probably want regenerate uh, with single combat. Like this, this card seems awesome with it. So I could definitely see taking this last one. I, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of feeling this last one. Oh, every every single person voted for the middle. Just take these two. I mean, art. Yeah, like these are two really good two drops. Um, Archer is awesome. Wolf is awesome. Archer is also frostbite to go along with Ash. So I guess if we want, um, there's there's not too much delay. Sorry, um, if we wanted if we want to try to be leveling up Ash because we don't have any Frostbite stuff whatsoever right now. Um, okay, we do have three single combats. Probably don't need a fourth. All right, I'll take the two drops. It'll talk to me into it. Um, doesn't seem to properly reset with the votes options. Oh, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It's it's nothing I can really control on my end, so I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see. So we get a bull elnuck and an elixir. Perfectly fine. And Treat and Stalking Wolf. Or Border Lookout, Silverwing Vanguard. I am a big fan of Silverwing Vanguard. This card is is one of the most overlooked cards, I think. Like this card is awesome. The problem is I don't like Border Lookout at all. Like at all. So that's the problem there. The Elnux just fine. Elixir's a good trick. Um, yeah, I basically don't love any of these buckets. I guess we can, like, entreat, you know, two mana draw a champion is really not that bad, you know, because we can have Lucian and Ash more often. Um, okay, everybody's voting for the middle one, so we'll take that. Um... I kind of like this middle one. Dawn Speakers is really nice, and then Redeemer is pretty nice too. I th I think I, I think that's just the best 
best bucket. And you kind of see, like, if you look, we have a common, 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 and then an epic. We should probably take the epic. Like, that's that's also a good, um, if you don't really know what to take, like, that's all. That's always a good indicator. But yeah, Dawn Speakers is really good. Yep, that's where all the votes were. And Icefield Archer is the card that I like the most out of all of these. And it's with a card that I don't want whatsoever, with Catalyst of Aeons. So there's Catalyst of Aeons in the first two. The first one is just not, not one that we want whatsoever, this bucket. That's just trash. We want... I want the Archer, but I really don't want this card. And these two cards are both fine. Purify can help help us out against the Flyer, stuff like that. And Repost is a good card. So like these are like two good cards. So we'll just take the two good cards instead of like the one awesome card and the one really crappy card. Yeah, they really want me to take a Catalyst of Aeons. And I really don't want to. Um, maybe just take the two drops again. Second Archer, third Stalking Wolf. Or... Tracker is a good one drop with a duelist, which is also pretty good. Being able to give like Lucian or Senna Challenger with them having quick attack, being able to give those things Challenger is really nice. Um, we don't really have much of a top end right now, but I think I think we just take these and just have the the Frostbite with the Challenger. We probably just want more Frostbite stuff because we do have some Challenger stuff. Looks like more people are voting for this last one. Take Sentry and Yeti. People are voting for that last one. Um, I think I, I think I want this middle one. Wild Claw with Stark Stalking Wolf. Meh. Detain with Silver Wing Vanguard. I like that. Stefan, nope. All right, I like this middle one. We'll just take Detain with Vanguard. I just love Silver Wing Vanguard. Detain could be nice, you know, we can detain, we do have, like, one Purify, so we could have, if we get lucky and have the Detain-Purify combo, we can use that. But we can also just detain our own allies. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the, that Vanguard. Alright, well, I think we're just going to take Senna to go along with Lucian, and then we get a van another Vanguard Redeemer, which is a, definitely a reasonable card. Icy Yeti and Shatter. So if like we want all the frostbite possible, that's this, but Shatter being slow speed is kind of rough. Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk down. Coming back, bringing back the hype with that resub. Thank you so much there, Dark Hawk down. You are awesome, thank you very much. Yeah, everyone's voting for the first one. All right, we'll take Zen Senna. And then, I really like War Chefs, but i pretty medium on the first blade. Archer and Stalking Wolf is a good combo. It's still good. Pursuits, Pursuits is underrated, and Cavalry is uh, fine. You know, nothing. It's, it's not bad. It can help out against big stuff. Um, so this is our last pick so if we take the two drops you're going to see like our, our deck's going to be basically be a whole lot of twos we're not going to really have top end but that may not be too bad Okay, every, everybody's voting for the, the last column. Right now we have two archers, three stalking wolves. I just want, I want more archers. I want archer more than any of the other cards. I think if I could, if I rank the cards I want, I want like archer first, war chef second, this thing last. And then like. Maybe Pursuit, Cavalry, 3, 4, and Wolf, 5. Like, those three kind of all together kind of thing. Yeah, we really don't have very much Freeze for Ash. We really don't. 
yeah, they didn't give us a single free spell. We didn't see a single brittle steel or um, frostbite or anything. All right, everybody's voting for this last one, so I'll just try this last one. All right, so I can trade that Pursuit for a standalone, trade Purify for Stalking Wolf, or trade Yeti Yearling for Flash Freeze. Well, there's finally a, a free spell, Flash Freeze. Finally. I like the Yeti Yearling, though. I like that card. Thank you, Dark Hawk Down. Yeah, I hope I hope you I hope you do give this game a shot. I hope you do. Thanks for the kind words, though. I'm gonna take the flash freeze. All right. Well, I don't love the deck. With us, you know, picking Ash to start with, this is about as bad as an Ash deck as we can have. After our very first pick. <laughs> As you can see, all these Demacia cards. This is not a good Ash deck. I forgot we have all these single combats. These cards are really good with if you got if you're uh, you know flash freeze and stuff. This hand looks pretty decent. Ooh, Dawn Speakers. All right, good curve. This is just a mirror match. If I play Stalking Wolf, then they get a 1 1, and then they get to. Like, my plan was, of course, to play the Wolf, but if I play the Wolf, then they. Then it turns this into a Challenger, and then the Challenger can just kill my Wolf. So we can't really do that. So I could play the Archer, but it's kind of a waste of an Archer. I guess I'm just going to pass and just be able to keep the extra two mana for later for the single combat. By the strength of our convictions. Definitely real possible that I should have just... Just you know, not blocked, and then be able to play Dawn Speak, Dawn Speakers. We see through all. Hey, Katie Dexterity. Um. Yeah, don't. Don't love my choices here. I just feel like I'm wasting an Arch Ice Veil Archer if I play it right now. That 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 works the best. Blessed by snow and stars. Our allies did not fall in vain. Did not fall in vain. Hmm. Yeah, I can do Archer plus Wolf plus Single Combat. We will not hesitate. 
Or I could get Ash and play. I did see a Rhyme Tusk Shaman. The, oh no, that was the that was the previous draft. Yeah, it was definitely the previous draft. Just don't really like my options. Hmm. You think I have to kill the wolf? It'd be pretty hard to kill that wolf. A chill in the air. I think I have to kill this shaman. The shaman is kind of ridiculous, and so I don't really mind that trade there because now, like that trade, will trigger the dawn speakers. So we'll pump these up. So now, like both of these would be able to trade with their wolf. They're probably gonna just kill, try to kill my dawn speakers, but then I, you know, I can use single combat with these things, which I want to use with that card because it doesn't get brittle steeled. This would be a good winter. Dang. No. Do not forget. Today we turn the tide of war. <clears throat> Now here comes the Enraged Yetis. We do have a lot more cards than they do. Hmm. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yep, Flowbots. I'm what nightmares fear. Avarosans, stand together. We will not hesitate. I mean, I guess it still kills Ash. It's just not even a good attack. No, I mean, the Ash is just going to die, I guess. As the arrow flies. Maybe I shouldn't use that Purify. Whoa, what? Fight on. Well, that was really bad. I was expecting to, to Frostbite the 5-5, five five, but I guess... I guess we didn't. But yeah, I was expecting to Frostbite the 5-5. Five five. Yeah, I guess it just checks the, the power. Uh, 
killing Trindamir is going to be impossible. Injustice. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, so that card is just... Just looks at attack. Making the dead dead. We know we're drawing a Demacia card. Oh, a Detain. My plan... Which isn't a great plan. My plan is they attack with Trindamir. I flash freeze it and then get four damage on it. I could try the whole detain thing, I guess. But it's just pretty likely that my creature dies. Maybe not. Maybe this works. Which means I could have just done that. Side by side, into battle. And then attacked the previous turn. Push back the darkness. I don't feel so good about this. Really? Found that? Okay. So if you freeze Trindamir, like the 8 4 Trindamir. Kills them both. If you freeze the 8-4. <clears throat> if I use this here, you know, Lucian turns into an 11-1. But then it's still like an 11-1 that gets to just quick attack every turn. But, you know, like my creature would still be alive. This is mercy. Look out there! Well, I have a kind of a better battlefield, but they have two cards in hand, so. Virtue guides me. No. Pretty dead. Saihei is getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity.
I am getting destroyed. This is not very close. I don't I just don't have that's just not very good. We might get the O two O two expedition. Yeah, I, I just don't have any power in my deck. We can get another flash freeze. Instead of the duelist. Man, we took that Ash first pick. Our draft could did not go well after that. All right, let's see what we're playing against. Yeah, they they did give they did give us a lot of wolves in single combats. We got a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, we have no late game cards. All right, well, we'll draw either Lucian or Ash next turn. One friend for each crab I saw today. Guess I should have taken the, the Karma instead of the, the Lucian. The Lucian route really didn't didn't pan out. Karma would have been a lot more late game, but they kept giving us early game stuff. I'll show you how it's done. So I'm not, I know I could play a Redeemer, but I'm not going to so that I can play Ash and have the mana to protect Ash with a barrier. I think Demacia and Freljord can work well together, but just not... The deck we, we drafted is just not that. Don't really have lifesteal. Sentinels of light. Don't fear the dark. The dark beckons. That's a problem. Show me a target. How did that move go? That flyer is just a problem, so I'm just going to trade the Senna for it. Wasn't my original plan, but... Once they played the Senna... That was the new plan. Are 
will bring peace Ugh. to Ionia, whatever the cost. Remember the fallen! I am Peter, yeah. I am. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with our deck. I don't know if you've tried this game out, but I just think this is a better game than Magic. I wrote about it the other day. Really like this one. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Uh, that was really disappointing. All right, well, we got zero wins twice. Crazy. But the... <laughs> All right, we got an Ash for our champion card. I liked our first pick with the Ash, but after that, all of our picks were not very good. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Got to have... Like, you know, for all, whenever I took took the card, if you remember, I talked about how Freljord can have, uh, like, big Freljord decks can be really good and everything, but you do need some low-cost stuff, but that's kind of all we got there. But, oh well. Uh, let's see. So there we go. So that's Expedition number two. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's, that's all I have to say. Our deck did not... Uh, you know, we, we really did not get very good, powerful cards in our expedition, and our deck did not come together at all. All right, so the rest of the week, you know, that's our third expedition. As you can see here, we've completed your expeditions for the week. So we'll be returning to expeditions on next Tuesday, but until then, we're going to be playing Constructed for the rest of the week. Uh, today, we got two... Um, two uh, of the most popular ranked decks with Kinku Elusives and Ezreal Elnux, two decks that I haven't tried out at all yet. So we'll be playing those two today, and then uh, tomorrow through Monday we'll have uh, all sorts of different ranked decks. Um, you know, we'll play metagame decks, we'll play brews, um, you know, I'll be building decks and everything like that. All right. Uh, but, yep, that's it for the expedition so uh if you're watching on youtube hope, hope you still uh you know learn some stuff you know you got to have uh you can't just have all two mana you know creatures you got to have the top end cards that can take over games and everything like that we didn't have them there all right uh but thank you so much for watching that expedition and i will see you for the next video